All right, what's going on today, YouTube? Welcome back to your favorite cyclist YouTube channel. This week, we're talking about coaster brakes and why they come on so many bikes. But before we get into today's video, if you are new to my channel, make sure you head down below, hit that subscribe button for me. If you already are subscribed, make sure you hit that bell icon down below. That way you get notified every time I upload. That way you don't miss any awesome cycling content on this channel. So like I said, today we're talking about coaster brakes and why coaster brakes come on bikes in the first place. So if you don't know what a coaster brake is, a coaster brake is what you'll see on a kid's bike a lot of time. And that's going to be the brake that's actually part of the rear hub. So essentially you can pedal forwards and then when you're ready to stop, you can pedal backwards. And that's about as far back as you can pedal, right there. So you can pedal forwards and then your brake is gonna be right there pedaling backwards. And that's gonna be the coaster brake. Now obviously most adult bikes aren't gonna come with coaster brake. These come with hand brakes where you're gonna have a brake lever right up here. And it's gonna pull the brake levers. And then through that lever, it's either gonna have a cable or hydraulic fluid going towards the brakes and to be able to stop your bike that way. But why do bikes still come with coaster brakes? What's the point of them? And there's really a couple of main points of why bikes come with coaster brakes. And that's going to be, number one, they're really cheap to put in. Number two, they, they're pretty robust. It's hard to kill a coaster brake and make it not work. And three, there's little to no maintenance on a coaster brake at all. So those are really the big reasons why, why bikes come with coaster brakes. And they come on not only kids bikes, but they come on adult bikes too. My fat bike back there, the Mongoose Beast, is a single speed with a coaster brake in the rear. So even bikes kind of in the, that was like 250 bucks brand new, still has a coaster brake in there. And really it's just simplicity is why they put that there. That was one of the first fat bikes that Mongoose tried and using a coaster brake versus trying to figure out some other braking mechanism to work on a really cheap, affordable bike. Coaster brake was just the way to go on that case. The other adult bike you'll see coaster brakes on a lot is going to be the Beach Cruiser. And I've done a whole video about what a Beach Cruiser is and those come with a coaster brake in the rear hub. And a lot of that comes down to the name of the bike and why they have put that in there. It is a beach cruiser. When you go to the beach, there's sand, humidity, salt in the air. All of that can wreak havoc to a brake really fast and really easy. Having the coaster brake internal on the rear hub and just having that simple brake right there keeps that braking mechanism out of the element and lets it keep on working no matter what conditions you put it in, which works really well for a beach cruiser. And that's why looping back to kid bikes, they have a coaster brake in them is because they just keep working. They keep working. Kids aren't the most responsible with their bikes. So leaving their bike outside in the rain and the snow, whatever that may be in a mud puddle, the brake on the back is going to be fine. There's no problem with that coaster brake at all. Also, when your kid is first learning how to ride a bike, if they start on a balanced bike, they already got the balance part down, but they're learning this pedal part as well. Learn how to pedal the bike to get momentum going so they can continue down the road. The hardest thing for them to learn along with that is going to be using a hand brake as well. So having everything just right down here makes it really easy for a kid to learn how to pedal and stop their bike all by themselves because their feet never have to move from this position. Their hands never have to move from white knuckling the grips as they're riding. It's very easy for a kid just learning to get ride a bike to get the feeling down for, for going and stopping on their bike all through the pedals. So how do you know if your bike has a coaster brake on it? So really the easiest way you're gonna know if your bike has a coaster brake is gonna be to try to pedal backwards. If you're able to pedal backwards, you, are, you most likely do not have a coaster brake. If you pedal backwards and it stops right there, you have some sort of coaster brake on your bike. Another way to know is on the non-drive side of the bike, on the rear triangle, coming off of the wheel, there's actually an arm there. And that arm bolts onto the frame, and that's actually what actuates the drum brake inside of the hub. So if you have that arm over there, or you're able to pedal back and it stops, you have a coaster brake on your bike. I would say if you're looking at an adult bike, most, most if not close to all of them, are not gonna have a coaster brake. They're gonna have a free wheel or a cassette of some sort on the rear wheel and then hand brakes as well. Of course, there are some out there like my fat bike that do have a coaster brake. However, if you're looking for kids bikes, I would say it's the opposite of that completely. I would say most, if not all, kids bikes are gonna have a coaster brake in them and the very few that don't are gonna have just hand brakes on there. They're gonna have both a front and rear brake on them. So there's kind of a quick overview of coaster brakes and why kids bikes come with coaster brakes. It's really that it's cheap, it's robust, and there's a little to no maintenance needed on a coaster brake. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give the video a big thumbs up. Appreciate the support. If you have any comments or questions, let me know down in the comment section below. Love talking to you guys. Love answering any questions you guys have. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching today.